Hey, what's going on guys? How's everyone doing today? I'm doing well, thank you for asking. Welcome to another episode of The Body Beat Down with me, Michael, your semi-incredible host. This is a little segment that I like to call Walk and Talk. And I have a couple of subjects that I want to talk about. Topics, subjects, whatever you want to call it. So, anyway, it's a beautiful day out. Just a little bit nippy. Not too awful bad. Uh, it is beautiful. Let me show you the beauty. That is the beauty. Not me. <laughs> Get out of here. Anyway, just got off the bus from my morning route. So let's start on topic number one. Kids, parents, households, your food that you're putting out there for your kids to eat. I got a hair somewhere over here. I got hair going on. Now, the rule on the bus is no snacking on the bus. That means gum, suckers, chips, cookies, cakes, candy, etc., etc. You're not supposed to even drink anything on the bus. However, the kids do not listen and they do whatever they want. That's another problem. So, if you've seen what these kids are eating on a daily basis, from the time they get on that bus until they get off that bus, it would blow your face off. All they eat is junk. Literally everything that I just mentioned is what they're eating. All these kids eat day in and day out are junk. They're bringing it from home. They're getting it from school. It's in their lives 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And that is a problem. Number one, just the principle of it. You're not supposed to be eating that kind of crap 24 hours a day. Number two, that's going to lead to health problems sooner than later. Just because uh, they're kids don't mean that their bodies can handle that type of crap 24 hours a day. And let me say something else. Uh, I know for a fact that in the school, they have vending machines with candy in it. They also have all kinds of junk food strolled throughout the schools that they give the kids all day long. Sugary drinks, snacks, everything, all day long. And we like to wonder, hmm, why do we have an obese, obesity problem in the United States? I can't speak for the rest of the world, even though I know it's spreading to the rest of the world. Gee, why do we have an ob obesity problem in the United States, guys? Why do we have a problem with kids being on medications by the time they're 18 in this country? It, and then it leads over into their adult life. So not only are they fat, fluffy, thick as kids, but it leads to extreme obesity into adulthood. Further medications, further trips to the doctor. I don't know what that hair is doing, but it's driving me crazy. Um, man, that's a problem, guys. Parents don't cook anymore. Everything's out of a can. Everything's out of a fast food window. Absolute garbage. Man, absolute garbage. Sorry, I'm moving around. I gotta get my glove back on. Man, I don't know what's up with people. And you got teachers 
allowing this in their classrooms throughout the school. When I was in school, you couldn't even hardly swallow your own spit without getting in trouble. These kids are not, these kids are not uh, having to follow any kind of guides, no, no rules, no, no nothing as far as their diet or anything goes. We won't even get into discipline. No wonder our country is completely falling apart. No wonder kids are being diagnosed with ADD or ADHD or OPP or whatever all these other supposed sicknesses are. No wonder you're feeding them garbage from birth. You're not even giving them a chance, guys. Man, it's it's bad. And there's nothing nothing I can do about it. It's just it, it's something that I see on a daily basis being a bus driver. I mean, it's bad. <laughs> you see these pretty little young kids and they're going to grow up into these if they don't change, which most of them won't, most of them are going to grow up and be fat and overweight, obese. Half of them so big they're rolling around in their little rascals because they can't even walk anymore. Living off the government and working people because they're filing disability because they can't walk. They get diabetes high blood pressure, high cholesterol, heart disease, everything else, cancers, and who pays for it? Not them. Well, they'll pay for it with their lives. Most of them will not live long. So that's a problem, guys. Man, start cooking. Start feeding your kids some breakfast. Even some cornflakes or some... Uh, raisin bran or something man it takes five minutes to fry up two eggs a piece of bacon and a piece of toast give them some oats throw some fruit off in there a little bit of honey man you're good to go give them something that has a little bit of nutritional value instead of all this freaking garbage man you wouldn't believe it you think I'm kidding, you would not believe the garbage that these kids are eating. And I have sources inside the school that tell me, that let me know what's going on in the schools. And it's the same thing. It's all day. It's garbage all day. And sorry if you hear the leaf blower going up here, guys doing some work. So that's topic number one. And topic number two is going to kind of feed off of that topic a little bit. And that is diabetes diabetes is a very serious sickness it's like a cancer it does not go away easily it is a deadly disease my dad died from it at the age of 54 back in 1997 And my oldest boy has been diagnosed with it for the last probably three years or so. And the sad news about that is probably five years I'll be burying him because he don't care. The same excuses that you hear day in and day out about other things is the same thing that he says. Well, you can't do it. I can't eat like that. I can't do this. I can't do that. I can't, can't, can't. Everything's can't. So you're telling me that when your life is on the line, you can't change. I mean, literally. It's not just like a threat. It's not like a scare tactic. Literally, your life is on the line. And you're going to die. And you can't change the way that you eat. And this don't go just for my son, it goes for everyone out there in the same predicament. Man, I just don't get it, guys. My father-in-law, 
has has had uh, stents and all that kind of stuff put in every place that you can have a stent and even had to get uh, one or two of them redone why because he won't change his lifestyle guys he won't stop eating garbage he says that he's changed but he, he ain't changed nothing people think they have write down what you eat every day every second I don't care if it's a piece of gum or a tic-tac write it down that's how you see if you've changed that's how you know if anything's uh, changing in your life be honest to yourself write down what you eat on a daily basis everything and go from there and then ask yourself again at the end of the week or the end of the month have I really tried and then you're gonna then you're gonna realize why you've not had any changes in your health why you're still suffering listen we all love junk food even those that pretend that they don't do everybody loves some good junk food man there's nothing better guys and I can eat a crap ton bushel barrel full of all of it believe me I did as much as I want whenever I wanted whatever it didn't matter man people just don't realize they lie to themselves they're hurting themselves and I hate knowing that I'm gonna be having to bury my kid I've come to terms with it because there's nothing you can do kind of like those leaf blowers there's nothing you can do about them they like blowing leaves I think I've seen a porn. Well, anyway, keep it PG, Mike. Keep it PG. Uh, this is a serious situation, guys. It needs attention brought to it. You parents out there that don't cook anymore, that are constantly feeding your kids junk, you are absolutely 100% part of the problem. You're the main problem. And don't sit there and tell me that a burger and fries and a Coke cost less than cooking up some chicken, rice, and a vegetable. Or some fish, rice, and a vegetable. Or a sweet potato. Something like that. Don't sit there and tell me it costs more because it don't. I go shopping all the time. Bad foods cost more than good foods. It also depends on how much you eat. Now, that's also a problem. Stop overeating. Well, I don't want just a couple of pieces of chicken and some rice and a vegetable. That's not enough for me. Yeah, it is. Technically, you're not supposed to eat any more than you can fit in your fist. If that, you're not even supposed to eat that much. You're supposed to eat multiple times a day five six seven times a day small meals and the meals are supposed to pack a punch they need to be full of proteins and fiber and minerals and vitamins a few carbohydrates simple and complex depending on the situation man that's heartbreaking to see to sit here and watch People destroy themselves and my wife my wife does it too she smokes she's already had cancer and almost died from that she has epilepsy she eats and drinks whatever she wants she don't care and you know you and, and you and you're one of those people that have finally seen the light the the switch is finally you know flicked in your brain and you're really kicking back and you're really watching everything even closer and even before that I was able to see all this because I'm not blind I'm not stupid to my ways I always said you know my diet is bad and uh, I know that I'm the cause of my own problems I've always taken the blame for my own crap always I always will 
anything else is a lie. I mean, you sit back and you see these people that you love killing themselves every day. Man, it's heartbreaking. I don't want to go through my life with, you know, my son being dead before me. I don't want to see my wife suffer and die early. I don't want to see these things. My father-in-law, you know, my mother-in-law has had cancer. And, and nothing's changed. Not a single thing's changed. I don't get it, man. We are so quick to destroy ourselves, and I have no idea why we do it, why it's instilled into our brains to, to do the worst that we can do to ourselves instead of the best. You ever notice in school, the girls are always attracted to the slackers, to the cool guy that's in the back in the leather jacket going, hey. All right, maybe not to that degree, but pretty close. Why is it the slackers and the people like that are always looked at as cool and the ones that you want to follow? These thugs out here, all these, let's see, rap ain't the way it used to be, so I'm gonna talk about them in the new era. All these thugs out here, gun toting, drug slinging, ho this, ho that, be this, be that, you know, B I T C H, you know, and, and, and the N word being thrown around every five seconds. And, but everybody wants to be like that. Everybody wants to go and do the most uh, horrible thing, to follow the most horrible things, the horrible trends. The horrible ways of life. Why is that? What is up, man? And I always say it. Everything good and right is bad. And everything bad and wrong is good. I, d I just don't get it. And I know this is a pretty serious walk and talk. That's what our walk and talks are about, guys. Anything. And it's what I'm seeing every day in my life. And so... It touches home pretty, pretty, uh, good. <laughs> Bunch of lazy, lazy, lazy people in the world anymore. Not cooking, not taking care of stuff. these parents that don't love on their kids I see that every day too talk rude to their kids never hear them say anything nice I see it every day on my bus I got parents that that have to buckle and unbuckle their kid every day and I see that all the time when they get on the bus it's just there's never any see you later love y'all have a good day it's always get in your seat do this, give me the backpack, do this, sit down, buckle up, do that. And then they get off the bus and it's the same thing. There's never any, hey, how y'all doing? Did you have a good day at school? Love y'all. Hey, bus driver, see you later. Thanks for taking my taking care of my kids. There's none of that. It's just, it's rude. Just crap, man. My God. Whew. People firing me up, guys. Sorry if I got a lot of shade on the face here uh, with the sun being right behind me there. It's kind of how it goes. It starts at home, guys. It starts by getting the word out. It starts at home. It has to start with you. From the way you raise your kids eating and acting all the way to how you do as an adult. I don't want to have to bury my oldest kid, guys. But I've accepted the fact that's probably what's going to happen. And he's going to leave behind an amazing 
daughter who'll never probably get to remember him. It's terrible. Absolutely terrible. Well, guys, I'm going to wrap up this walk and talk. We're just over 20 minutes in. I appreciate you listening to me, and I hope that this, you know, touches some nerves out there, whether it makes you mad or not. I hope it opens your eyes and, uh, and you start changing your ways. It's time to get America back where it was. 500 years ago with diet and the way people act and treat one another raising their kids respect discipline and not living off junk food and medications that goes into adulthood because once you start once you start off life like that it's almost impossible to turn it around later in life. If you're one of the few that have done it, and I'm one of those few now, amazing job. So guys, thanks for watching The Body Beat Down. I'm Michael, your semi-incredible host. Hope you enjoy your Friday Eve, i.e. Thursday beautiful out here in West Tennessee just a little nippy all right go check out my videos like share subscribe comment all that good stuff check out my buddy's channel Mac Bean Scottish Fitness obviously he talks about fitness and uh, my other buddy over at home gym Hacks and reviews. Obviously, he's talking about gym equipment, reviews, and such. And a great channel, great people doing positive things. All right, guys, get up, get out, get rad, do it to it. We'll see you later. Have a beautiful day. Get up, get out, get ran, and do it, do it!